James and thanks for tuning in to eBuyer. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Asus Tough Gaming VG27A, an awesome 1440p 165Hz gaming monitor. With some great colour reproduction, awesome viewing angles and some really nice features, let's take a look. First things first, let's go ahead and unbox the monitor and this should give us a great chance to get some first impressions as far as the stand's concerned, the bezels and the overall connectivity options. Three very important points of course when it comes to choosing your next gaming monitor. Looking good, so you can see here we've got the monitor base. This is nicely packaged up to keep it uh, safe in transit and also make sure it doesn't get scratched or dinked. And you can see here it's got the typical Asus Tough Gaming design, which we like to be clear. We've got some swivel functionality as well, which we'll find out more about once we've built the stand up, as well as the Tough Gaming logo in the bottom right corner. The stand feels pretty sturdy, a pretty solid base, and you do actually get a thumb screw here as well uh, to give a fully toolless assembly. The monitor then is secured uh, in this really nice kind of polystyrene sandwich, which once again is designed to keep it safe uh, from when it gets to e-buyer to your door. This is quite a nice touch actually. The central monitor column, if you will, is actually pre-built into the design as is. It's pre-installed, something I've not really seen on many gaming monitors, and further helps to really simplify the assembly process. I'm going to go ahead and actually leave the protective film on for now, as all we need to do is line up these two metal prongs, which feel really sturdy, they're not going anywhere, and just pop them through the actual arm of the monitor itself. We can then use the tallest screw design to just tighten this up, make sure you do do this nice and tight so the monitor stand doesn't go anywhere, and you get the full range of versatile adjustments uh, from the base. We're then able to simply swivel our arm around, nicely does it and lift the monitor up and that's literally it we're going to remove as well this uh, protective packaging once and for all and then the monitor is just about ready to use we've got some really good range of adjustability as you've probably just seen there in the stand whether it's height adjust up or down tilt to get the best viewing angle you've quite an aggressive tilt angle there actually and even a sort of a programming mode where you can make the monitor portrait and that's in either direction so if you want the bezel on the left or the right hand side, you've got both options available to you. As if that wasn't enough, you also get a nice degree of rotation on the base itself without this actually moving, which is always great to see, all the way around to 90 degrees. So really, really versatile, giving you 180 degrees of total adjustment, giving you the perfect viewing angles regardless of your setup design and circumstance. In terms of included connectivity, you've got a few good options in the box from a DisplayPort cable, which is my personal favorite connector type. It's just the most versatile, especially for gaming in 2021, but also a HDMI cable that's still capable of satisfying the full 1440p 165 hz bandwidth of this tough panel. As if that wasn't enough, you've also got the included monitor power adapter, super slim line, it's kind of mini PSU unit, uh, with then your Cloverleaf UK power adapter. So basically everything you need in the box to get started, whether you're plugging up to a gaming PC, a console, or even both at the same time. The Tough VG27A has got you covered nicely. This versatile connectivity is mirrored on the underside of the monitor with our DC power input from the power brick we referred to a moment ago to a headphone pass-through that uh, this is gonna allow you to take the audio from the DisplayPort or HDMI cable and put through a pair of headphones alongside a DisplayPort connector, once again, my favorite type, and then two HDMI inputs. This is great for running a console and a PC at the same time, plugging in a wide range of devices, which you can then switch between using the monitor's inbuilt menu controls, which we'll look at in a moment's time. The versatile stand here is not only great for the setup, but it's also great for this video and allows us to show off all the functionality of the Asus monitor. I really do like the stand and it's something you shouldn't overlook especially when buying a higher-end gaming monitor with more and more features. This is a gaming monitor though, which means we need to actually try it out with some of the latest titles out there. Let's go ahead and plug it up to a powerful gaming PC and check out viewing angles, refresh rate, color reproduction, and of course the all-important input lag. One of the best ways to test this monitor then is with a bit of Doom Eternal. Not only is it really high in terms of refresh rate and frame rate, allowing us to really test out that 165 hertz, but it's also IPS, which means we should get some really nice color accuracy. You can see the vivid nature of the colors here as well really comes through on this tough gaming panel. 
IPS is a lot better than something like TN or even VA as far as colours are concerned. There is so much going on. I'm trying to concentrate on speaking and playing and it does not go particularly well. The 165 hertz is overclocked, so natively you get 144. Uh, so over double 60 is what you'd find on a kind of typical gaming monitor. So overclocking up to 165 hertz does give you a slight edge. Remember, of course, that you will need a powerful system to actually drive uh, 160 frames per second or higher, essentially, to really make the most of the 165 hertz refresh rate. All in all, they're looking good uh, on this Asus Tough panel. Let's uh, dive into a couple of other games and see how well it stands up across the board. Next up then, let's try out a little bit of Forza's Horizon 4. We're not quite so bothered about refresh rate and frame rate, but we are really uh, concerned with color accuracy, vibrancy, vividness, all that good stuff. So in terms of visual settings, we've got dynamic optimization on, so that's gonna sort all of our settings out for us at the Ultra preset. 1440p is the full resolution of the monitor, while the frame rate's unlocked, so it's basically unlimited. And we have, of course, got vertical synchronization, otherwise known as V-Sync disabled. We're gonna jump into the game's inbuilt benchmarking mode, and this runs the same kind of sequence of events. So if you guys wanted to compare it at home, you can do, and see what results you're able to get on your own system. Let's give this a moment to load in, and I'll see you in a second. And there we have it. So we're currently running around about 130, 140 frames per second. So not quite utilizing the full range of the 165 Hertz refresh rate, but getting pretty close. And you can see here, colors look great. I'm standing at quite a side angle to the monitor as well. Color reproduction strong, uh, and the vividness and accuracy of the colors isn't really changing too much. It is genuinely amazing to see an IPS panel uh, when it comes to high refresh rate displays. Often the quality of the screen is something you sacrifice when you push more and more frame rate, but in this case, we really have got the best of both worlds. You've got 165 hertz and some great colors, making it awesome for both Doom and Forza, both first person shooters and racing titles, which really covers us off very nicely on this tough gaming panel. Finally then, the last game I want to try is a little bit of CSGO. This is because the frame rate, as you can see in the top left, currently about 400 frames per second, is super high, allowing us to really take advantage of the full 165 hertz refresh rate. There we go, that's a bit more like it. Now, one of the major advantages of a high refresh rate monitor is that the interval between frames is that much shorter. Essentially, if your PC is rendering 400 frames per second and you've got a 165 hertz refresh rate, you're able to display 160 of those frames. If you've only got a 60 hertz monitor, you're only displaying 60 of the frames, meaning that each frame is refreshed at longer intervals. In turn, that means if an enemy was to peek through a wall uh, here, you would see them that little bit earlier, something which will give you a major advantage over your competition who might be rocking lower refresh rate panels. The response time on this monitor is also super low, meaning the time from the PC displaying the frame to the monitor displaying the frame is also really great. And that combination of high refresh rate and low response time really is the winning combo. And on that note, that pretty much wraps it up for our first look here at eBuyer at this Asus Tough Gaming Panel. If you'd like to learn more about this or any of the other Asus Tough monitors available, check out the links in the description below. Get subscribed for more from the eBuyer channel. Thanks for watching though, and as always, we'll see you soon.